In this lesson, we are going to upgrade the Amazon app project to the latest version of React, React Router, DOM, and Mongoose. What we're going to do is to upgrade React to version 17, React Router, DOM to version 6, and Mongoose to version 6 too. Let's start from backend because it's super easy and simple to do, and then go for the front end, which is going to be the main focus of this lesson. First of all, we need to uninstall and install all packages in the backend. I mean in the root folder, open terminal, click plus icon to create a new terminal in Amazon folder in the root folder, and then open package.json. Go to the dependency section, and what we're gonna do is to uninstall all packages and install them again to use the latest version of all packages here npm on install and then copy the name of packages and put an space like this it's the simplest way to update the versions of dependencies for a project the mongoose is very important because it's five and we're going to use version six and the last one is socket.io and then press enter. Wait a while to uninstall all of them. As you see, there is no dependency here. We're not going to work on dev dependencies. It's not very important to update. And then in the terminal, press arrow up to get the command that we just run. And instead of npm uninstall, get rid of un and install all packages again. Wait a while to install all packages. And at the end, you will have dependency section in the package.json. This time, the packages have been updated to the latest version, like Mongoose is using the version 6. If you go to the terminal that runs the backend project, we need to stop it because this time it's gonna give an error if you run it again. As you see, the error is Mongo's parse error option use create index is not supported. To fix this issue, go to the backend server.js and find the mongoose.connect and get rid of options from mongoose.connect and save it. This time you will fix the error and there is no error in the project. Also in the order router here, find mail gone and then wrap it inside a try catch like this. The reason that I'm doing this is to just get rid of error in PayPal payments and cut the mail gone command entirely this one and drag it inside the try catch and save it. Here is the new change in the mail gun that messages that sent. Great, let's go back to the plan. What we did is to uninstall and install all packages in backend, remove options in Mongoose Connect, and wrap mail gun in try catch. The backend part is done and it's time to go for the main part, which is front end. What we did in backend to uninstall and install packages, we need to do it in the frontend folder. Open terminal, go to the terminal that we have used for backend, and then go to the frontend folder. Also, we need to open the package.json inside frontend folder. Go frontend, open package.json, and then what we're gonna do here is to find the dependency section here and for all packages we need to uninstall them so it's gonna be npm uninstall and then copy the name of package paste it here for all packages in the dependency section this one testing axios that's the regular way to update dependency of packages to the latest one there are faster ways to do this, but in my experience, this one is the most straightforward way to update 
packages for a project. This one, Redux, Redux Funk, and the last one is Socket.io Client. Press Enter to uninstall all packages, and you should have no dependencies in the package.json in the front. That's it. And it's time to install them again. Click in the terminal, press arrow up, and go to the npm uninstall by pressing arrow left. Keep it until getting to the uninstall, get rid of un and install them again. It takes a while to install all packages again, but this time it's gonna use the latest version of those packages for the project. By running this command, you will have dependency section again, but this time all packages have been updated to the latest version. React is using version 17 and React Router DOM is using the version 6. After this, it's time to restart the frontend. Click on the frontend project, stop it, and run it again. Here is the error. It says, admin route.js attempt import error redirect is not exported from React Router DOM. By updating from React Router DOM from version 5 to version 6, there are a lot of changes that we're gonna fix in this lesson. So what I'm going to do is to follow the plan here. First of all, remove route in search box, open app.js and find search box here, line 72. And we cannot use route without having routes as a parent. So we need to get rid of it and get rid of history attributes. That's the first change. Also, we can make it self-closing like this. But what happened in the search box? In the search box, we need to access to the history to be able to redirect user. In React Router version 6, we need to replace history.push with navigate based on the change that we I have mentioned in this line. So instead of this, we're going to use Navigate from use navigate. Replace props.history.push with navigate and to use navigate, define navigate as a hook from use navigate. Use navigate is coming from React Router DOM. Import use navigate from React Router DOM. Also, there is no need to have props here. Let's go for the next change. After removing route in search box, it's time to wrap all route in routes. It's the next change in React Router DOM version 6. Go to app.js and find the route section. Scroll down to find it here and wrap it inside route immediately. I mean, there shouldn't be any other elements between routes and route and I scroll down to find the last one and close routes. Great, that's the second change that we have made here and press control space to import routes from React Router DOM. Enter and at the top you will have this import. Also, you can move routes from here and put it next to the other imports from react router down like this let's go for the next change it's time to replace route component a screen with route element and a screen should be like as a jsx let's go for it go to app.js and find the route section right here let us start with the first one the component should be element and we should make it like rendering a component not the name of component do the same for others 
I'm going to replace component with element here, all of them here, here, and here for all the route, do it the same. But for private route, for this time, I'm going to just comment them out. Just comment them and only do it for the routes. I scroll up and go for the second change. Convert carta screen to this one and for others. After doing this, I scroll down for the remaining and then go for the last one, the home screen, and then go for private route, admin route, and seller route. Get rid of comments here and here. To change the private route, I'm going to convert the private route here to version six of React Router DOM. So it should be like a regular route and the path is the profile, but instead of component, use element and inside that, wrap it inside private route. Close the private route and move the profile screen as a component here. So I have changed this style to this one. Let's get rid of this, save it, and close the route. The new style have a change in the private route too. Go to the private route, and instead of this, we're gonna have this function. What we did is to use navigate instead of redirect, and then in the private route, we just check the user info. If it does exist, return children, otherwise redirect user to sign in a screen. Get rid of the old code and then import navigate from React Router DOM like this. Great, let's do it for the admin route and seller route. Open admin route and seller route. Copy the code from private route paste it above the admin route and only copy this condition and get rid of the code here and then paste the condition here. Also, it should be admin route here. Go for the seller route, copy the code from admin route, paste it above the seller route and copy this condition get rid of the code here and paste it right here. So if user info exists and user is seller, then this. Change admin to seller. Close seller route, admin route, and private route and use them in the app.js. So for the private route for map, I'm going to duplicate the profile, copy map, paste it here, copy map screen, paste it here. That's it. Get rid of private route. It's time for admin route. Copy a route like this, and then use admin route instead of private route, product list screen, and product list as a path. Save it and get rid of it. Do the same for all admin routes and seller routes. Duplicate, copy the path, copy component name and admin route. Get rid of it. Duplicate, order list, order list screen in admin route. Get rid of it. Duplicate, user list, and user list screen, get rid of it. Duplicate, user edit, copy, paste, user edit screen, get rid of it. Duplicate route, dashboard, paste dashboard here, dashboard screen, dashboard screen, 
get rid of it, duplicate, support, support, support the screen, get rid of it. And it's time to go for the seller routes. I'm going to just duplicate a route, copy seller route instead of admin route, copy and paste the path, and copy and paste the component. Go for the next one, duplicate, copy, order list screen, and it's seller route. Get rid of it. Great. That's the changes that we have made in the route section. Let's check the result. Aha, uh -huh. here is the result. There is no error. If I click on cart, it's not gonna work. Let's fix it. Find the cart screen here. React Router down version 6 does not support optional parameters. To fix it, duplicate this line and make it like this. It supports cart and cart and ID. And let's check the results. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we are getting an error. It means that the cart screen is working now. Let's fix the error. It says that cannot read properties of undefined reading params. In this version of React Router DOM, we can't use props.match.params. Based on the plan, we need to go for replacing props.history.push with navigate. Let's go for it. So I'm going to search for Press Ctrl Shift F and search for props.history.push like this one. And we're gonna replace it with navigate. Click on replace all. And there are 21 occurrences across 16 files. So click on replace. And then you will get error because navigate is not defined. So for all of these pages, to find them, just type navigate, opening parentheses, and then get rid of this, and then click, let's say for the first one, which is search box, and because we already did it, it works. We use this hook. Let's go for the cart screen. We are getting this error. Go to at the beginning of cart screen component, paste it here, and then import it from React Router DOM, like this. Do the same for all other instances. Go for the map screen, scroll up, find the beginning of this component. I will import them later. Just go for order history screen, find the beginning of component, use navigate. Next one scroll up use navigate here the next one in payment history place order product edit find the beginning product list here product screen scroll up here register a screen search a screen scroll up shipping address screen sign in user edit and user list screen scroll up and that's it so it's time to import them just go to the very first one here use navigate copy and go to the map screen and paste it here. Get rid of link and only keep this one. Use navigate. Do the same for order history screen, order list screen, payment method screen, place order screen. For place order screen, because we already have it, just type use navigate here product edit screen, product list screen, we already have it, use navigate. The next one is product screen, we already have import, use navigate, register screen, use navigate, search screen, use navigate, shipping address, 
we need to have it here sign in a screen use navigate user edit a screen user list a screen import that's it let's go back to plan i just close all window and here i'm in the plan i still getting error cannot read property of undefined reading params in the cart screen but based on the plan what i did is to replace use navigate the push with navigate the next step is gonna be replacing props.match.params.id with use params. Copy this, Control Shift F, and search for props.match.params.id. Find the first one, and based on the plan, replace it with this one. Above the line, use this. Import use param from React Router DOM and from param here get the id and rename it to product id like this do the same inside the product edit screen find it and replace it with this copy and paste it right here find the product screen do the same copy this paste it inside the product screen get rid of this line, paste it here, and import it from React Router DOM. In the seller screen, we have seller ID, so I'm going to just copy this, paste it in the seller screen, and then import it from React Router DOM, and rename the ID to the seller ID. Get rid of this. So we have only order screen and user edit screen. Copy this, go to user edit screen, paste it here, replace seller ID with user ID, get rid of this line and copy and paste it right here to import it. Do the same, copy this, go to order screen, paste it, replace user ID with order ID, get rid of this. And for use param, we need to import it from React Router DOM, like this. Let's check the results. In the cart screen, we are getting a new error. It says, error in reading search. Based on the plan here, it's time to go for props.location.search and replace it with this. Search for it, one, to three instances we have let us start with cart screen find it and instead of this line to get the quantity from the query string replace it with this one i'm using use location from react router dom and use use search params to parse it and convert it to the string here and then convert it to number go to the sign in screen and use the same logic for the signing replace this the redirect with this code and use use location from react router dom copy this find the register screen and replace this with the new code imported here go to the cart screen and for use params and for use location, it should be imported from React Router DOM, not React Redux. Aha, uh -huh. here is the result. There is no error. Let's go for the next step based on the plan. What we did is to replace push with navigate, replace match proms.id with this, location search, and let's find this one. We have two instances of props.match path we need to replace it with past name find the seller mode and use location it should be imported from react router dom and the path name should be used here like this 
go to product list screen do the same copy this code from here go to product list screen and replace it with this code and the use location is coming from react router done great let's go for the next change put user info in use effect in chat box and support the screen open chrome dev tools and refresh the page here we are getting some errors let's go to the chat box and find the use effect and put user info here here to get rid of error find place order screen and here we have the same put navigate find support screen in the use effect the very end put user info to get rid of warning and the other warnings is about the navigate find let's say product list screen and find props.history so find props.history and replace it with navigate to apply the change inside the dependency array of use effect replace replace all and then refresh we have only two warning go to product action find product action and find data I scroll down to find the data that we don't use inside delete and get rid of it and use await go to the place order screen we have to navigate here and refresh this time there is no error let's test the result go to home page select a product add it to cart proceed to checkout log in uh -huh. as you see sign in slash shipping there is an issue here let's go to cart screen and find navigate and put slash here redirect to this let's check the result sign out select a product add it to cart proceed to checkout login uh -huh. enter your information if you check here if i refresh and enter information i'm getting this error components changing from uncontrolled input to fix it go to shipping screen and find the section that we initialize state if full name does not exist use empty string by having this we prevent that error for all fields let's check the result refresh no error fine uh-huh this error is not very important because it's because of a chrome extension not because of the code and then click on continue okay paypal place order paypal payment and make a sandbox payment let's see what happens as you see it works and it's paid and if i click on deliver order it's delivered let's go to the search screen as you see it doesn't work let's fix it go to app.js and find the search part here and as you see we don't have optional parameter i just duplicate it get rid of it to make it optional aha uh -huh. this time it works let's try for fit aha uh -huh. only fit only pants this range this range and this range that's it it works also user profile works history details deliver order products for seller and products and only admin dashboard the charts is showing here users and support that's it we successfully updated the project from react version 16 to 17 react router to version 6 and mongoose to version 6 that's it until next lesson bye bye